Hello and welcome to the Lost Library, episode number five of Pillars of Eternity. Now here we are in the runes and we're going to be making our journey without any supplies and any rest. And we do have a little bit of an update on our biography, which we will share with you. You fell ill traveling with a caravan bound for Gilded Vale. The caravan master sent you off with one of his guides, Kalisha, in search of a remedy. While out searching for the remedy, you were ambushed and returned to your camp to find it slaughtered at the hands of angry locals. You dealt with them only to be nearly killed by a wind that threatened to shear your soul from your body. You escaped with Heodan and Kalisha into an ancient room. Okay, let's uh, see which way we're going to go. Are we going to head left or right? And I noticed something here. You know, when we missed that part about Sparfell, we might have been able to find it in here. Oh well, we are learning as we go. It's a blind playthrough, as you can tell. Okay. Don't know if I'm too excited. Let's look at the map. Well, I would say we should. It's probably going in this direction to get out. But let's just go right and see where that takes us. And let's go back into scouting mode. Something's coming here, I think. Careful. Why is Heodan in the front all of a sudden? Shouldn't Kalisha be in the front? Uh huh. She should. Certainly. There we go. Let's get the formation going right, people. Oh, what do we have here? Ancient runes. We are inside the ancient runes. Hmm. Look at the tiles. What are those symbols? I know. Hmm? Felicia, I want you to just take a quick little look here. Trap triggered. Look at that. Trap casts fan of flames. Trap casts fan of flames. Fan of fan of flames. Okay, so we know that. <sighs> wow, how are we going to get through this? Okay, but it looks like it's triggered. Yes, it is. Okay, so that is a fan of flames. Are there any more of those? No, there aren't. There aren't any more. You've got two of these. Symbols right here. You have two of these symbols. <laughs> we don't 
don't know what's there. So did she take damage on that? Trap casts Fan of Flames. Doesn't look like there's any damage. Nope, 51 of 51, okay. So she goes back. Go back into your... Shh. Yeah, and slow mode, remember? Okay. Um, how about you? We're going to figure out what these do here. That looks like wind, doesn't it? Let's go over here. Lost, you can head Certainly. Uh huh. Now here's something. Oh, good job. Very good job, Lost. Okay, so that... The trap is detected. So how do we disarm this trap. Oh, and look, all we have to do is really get over here, it looks possibly, possibly. Because that's broken off here, so it looks like we have to go in this direction right here. Hmm. I mean, this is just guesswork right now, right? That's all this is. Uh, so, I'm wondering if there's some clues on the other side. Okay, well, how do we disengage that trap? Disarm that trap, I mean. Um, if you click on it, what happens? Lost has discovered something. However, he failed to disarm the trap. Can Heodan do it? Hmm? Yes, he can. So let's go over here. Found oh. something. Oh, look at Heodan. Heyo down the rogue. Oh, what happened there? Well, it looks like our game crashed. Okay, so we have all these traps here. So Heyo Dan, let's check his character sheet again. What does he do? He is skills, mechanics. Look at this. Disarm difficulty three traps. Pick difficulty three locks. Nine trap accuracy. Okay, so he has the ability to disarm these traps for us. That's what we should have done in the first place. Okay, so we now know Heodan. I would say this one first. And he did it. Good job. Found something. Yeah, let's do this one. Good job, Heo Dan. All these traps, look at this. Is there anything on this side? Well, yeah, there possibly could be. Let's disarm this one. Good job, Heo Dan. Found Come something. On. Yeah. Oh man, is he good? Good. Okay. So is this a one way? No, it's blocked. It's a dead end. So we do have to go through here, okay? Okay, good. Hey, Dan, I don't want you moving in just yet. Why don't you do that one just in case? Doing it. You never know. I 
Excellent. Okay, so this is telling me something right now. I'm wondering if Heodan should be at the lead here. Not necessarily. You're probably wondering why we want to do all of them. Because you never know. There might be more than just traps. And in case we have to run out fast, we don't need to be tiptoeing around these traps. Are you feeling this game though? Isn't this unbelievable? Okay, they're all done. All right. Let's look at that map. Oh yeah, look. Okay, so we're through here, through the traps. Can't go any further that way. We could have went that direction there. I'm almost thinking we should. We should advance back. We don't know what we're gonna encounter here. So let's do that. Let's get out of this and let's go back here. What's this? Is that a door? That's a door. Can we open that door? Yes, we can. Oh, is this beautiful. Look at this. Okay. Well, we can still go back here. Let's go back here. Shows in the lead. That's the way we want it. Okay, hold on. Let's go back into silence. Mode. Surrounds me. Yes. There nothing? Is this a dead end? That might be a dead end. Oh no, what's that? Nothing. Hmm. Someone else has been here. We should move. Look at this. It's like a little campground here. There might be supplies, which we do need. Okay. Who has the best stealth? How do we figure that out? Let's go to character. Stealth. Okay, so, so okay, obviously we have poor stealth. Kalisha, poor stealth. Oh yeah, Heodan. Okay. Yo, know, Dan, you are going to take the lead here. So that means, okay, when you're in stealth like this, if there's anyone around right now, they can't see him. Okay. There has to be supplies in here. Look at this. And we might be able to rest in here too. Okay, what do we have here? We have a small shield. Well, okay, yeah, he can carry it. And we have a torch. That'll come in very handy. Okay, so let's do the inventory right now. 
and use that torch. Where is it? Right here. How do we use it? Here? Yes. Okay, and how do we turn it on? Or is it automatically on? Ye uh, is it? I can't tell. No, it's not, because he's carrying the dagger. Okay, so what if we do this? He's got two daggers. Let's just see how this is. I'm very curious. Will that work? It does. Is this ever sweet? Look at that. So he should be carrying a torch now. And he is. <laughs> I think Kalisha is as well, isn't she? Yeah, she has a torch as well. Okay, so we probably don't need to have two torches. So let's go back to Heodan and he'll take that dagger and put it right back there. There you go. Okay. Now you have something here, Heodan. And hopefully it is supplies, which we desperately need. And we are going to rest as well. What do we have here? Okay, we have a mace. He can take, okay, what does he have? He has, uh, yeah, you can definitely take that mace. And you have a hammer and chisel. Okay, what is that? A simple iron hammer and chisel, useful for chipping away at hard surfaces, particularly ones that display structural weakness. Might come in handy. Let's take it. And camping supplies. In amongst these supplies are bedrolls, blankets, rations, and other amenities intended to keep hardy explorers from, succumb from succumbing to the elements. Okay, so what we'll do, and there's two of them. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into camping mode. Because we need to rest. So let's get everybody in oh. here. Don't have to do that. We're good. I think we're good now. I don't think there's anything to worry about in here. If they come back in, you know what? No problem. We've checked that out. Okay, so let's rest. We need to rest. I don't like the uh, formation we're in, but... Let's get back into the right mm -hmm. formation, just in case. No, that's not the formation we want. That's the one we want. Okay. Here we go. How does this work? Camping allows your party members to restore health, lost health and receive a camping bonus. Camping will consume a camping supply. Okay, choose a camping bonus. Damage reduction, damage reduction for both of us. Let's do that. We need to heal though. Heodan. Stash. No. Rest. Let's rest. Good. Now Heodan should be feeling much better. Actually, everybody should be feeling much better after that. How much time did that take? Should have paid attention to that. Okay, so it's day two, hour 19, 20 Marsh Prima, 2823 AI. Not sure what this means, Marsh Prima. Is that, uh, we'll have to check the calendar here. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that next time. Okay, so we have fully rested and. I'm almost tempted. We have everything we need here. I wish we could uh, buy supplies from Heodan, but I guess we can't. All right, let's go back.
Hmm. So, maybe we can. Yeah, we can. Let's head this way. We never went in here. Let's go back into scout mode. Be quiet. Yeah. Oh, what is this? A Zorp. Oh, who's he? A trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Knobby elbows and thin ribs show through its scaly flesh, but you recognize it as a Zurup. It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragged sighs. It's okay. I won't hurt you. The Zurup recoils, fingers still wrapped tightly around its spear. The creature cocks its head and approaches you, a soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. The creature sniffs around you and finds nothing of interest. It steps back and resumes its defensive posture. I don't know if we need to really hurt this thing, do we? Do we need to kill this thing? Raise your arms and stand still. Slowly back away. <laughs> he could be just a scout too though for a much larger contingent in the back there somewhere. Uh, let's just see what happens because we don't need them sneaking up behind us either. The creature cocks its head and approaches you, a soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. Again, he sniffs around, finds nothing of interest, steps back and resumes its defensive posture. Obviously it doesn't understand us, but slowly back away. The Zorup watches warily as you go. Huh. Okay. What if we go forward now? So he can see us still. Okay. This is how this works. Uh, scouting mode or stealth mode. Um, now he can see us because we have the red little eye underneath our characters. So it's obvious. Let's just go up a little closer, see what he does. Oh, he comes after us. Look at this. He did. He didn't need to do this, you know. And you went after Kalisha. The worst you could have picked. Picked on you. Oh, that's a bad move, going after Kalisha. She will make short work of you. Near death. Yeah, it's finished. We don't need to do any more. It's done. Bad move, Zorup. What is it carrying? A Zorup spear. Okay. Well, Kalisha cannot carry any more weapons. Ah, uh, just wait. She's two and two. Yes, she can. Uh, nope. Okay, we're done. No more weapons for Lost. She has three. That's it. Plus the rod. Kalisha can carry a weapon. And so can so can Heodan. Okay, so why don't we take the spear Kalisha. That might actually be a good good weapon to have. 
And she cannot take a shield because she already has... I know she can take two shields. Two armor, two shields. How many shields do we have here? Okay. All right. Good. I think what we're going to do is play it safe here and do a save. Yes, we are. Does it auto save? I guess it does, but at what point? Okay. Well, let's just play it safe. There we go. Now, I don't believe there's only one of these Zorups, so we better go back into stealth mode. Well, that might be those campers. Or the looters. Sure. Wait, do you hear that? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh, we have a decision to make here. Can we drop that here? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, I think we will definitely take the crossbow. Okay, so she has now two weapons plus her main weapon and the torch so she can take the crossbow. Uh, the armor, no. Only two sets of armor. And we have armor there, and we have armor here. Heodan can take the armor. Yes. Heodan will take the armor. What is this? A relief gem. This brilliant blue gem has been sculpted to look like an eye. Oh, it's beautiful. So we will take that. Oh, I don't want it in the stash. Why did it do that? Torch. Always good to have. We can have a torch. And what is this? A tattered journal. Tattered journal. This small folio is torn in several places, and blood has soaked into several of the sheets. One later entry is still legible, however. I can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice and I've got my hands on a genuine Ingwithan artifact. Fellow who had it said it was a pretty nothing as far as he's concerned. He's not willing to go digging in some rooms. But if he's right about this gem leading to a hidden treasure, then that's worth sneaking past a few painted elves. I'll head to Salantlis in the morning. Then it's just a matter of finding this relief he was talking about. Ooh. Take that journal. Okay, let's go back into group mode. Hmm? This. I think we have to do this all the time, actually. Certainly. Yes, that's how we do it. Okay, so let's keep going. Oh, yeah, we have a little bit more room to explore here, don't we? Oh, oh, there, yeah, see? This is a not the same thing as what we were dealing with before. And doesn't look like it's friendly either. A Skulder Whelp. Wilder. Let's get a good look at that. Oh, this does not look like an easy easy foe, does it? Um, okay. What's it carrying? Looks like it's carrying, it doesn't look like it's have any range weapons. No, okay, so we're gonna let it come to us. Okay, so what we're gonna do is oh, Kalisha, I want you right here. Oh, it still can't see us. 
Oh, now it can. Okay, now it can. Ah, you see that? Well, maybe we should have taken the torch. Yeah, we should. Uh, maybe. We, I wonder if that would make a difference. We'll have to try that next time. But okay, we are now in this battle with this Skulder Whelp. Hmm. Okay. Kalisha, you're not going to do this one on your own. So let's go. I want you right here. Heyo down, I want you beside Kalisha. Okay. And Lost, I want you to fire. Fire away. Okay. Hmm? Oh, did you see that? What was that? So we gained an item. We'll have to read that later. Okay. Lost Grace's Scalder Whelp for 10 pierce damage, but the Scalder Whelp Stunning Scream grazes Heodan for 6 raw damage and stuns him for 1.6 seconds. Oof. So Heodan's stunned already. Yeah, you can see. Look. Wow. It, it catches everything and that so that is the stun icon right there I guess I'm not sure what that means okay let's go okay well Kalisha you're not just gonna stand there I would assume you're gonna attack but maybe not okay lost same thing I don't think I have to do this every time do I Oh wow. Kalisha killed the Scalder Whelp. And Bestiary Progress. Scalder Whelp 25%. 27 of 108 experience points earned. Okay. What we are going to do is we're going to check that journal right now and just read up on this. But before we do that, hey, it disappeared. See that? What is this creature? So we have a wolf, a young wolf, a Zorup. Oh, we don't have the... Uh, okay, well, let's read about the Zorup. I know nothing about this thing. So we defeated one, level one, wilder, endurance. Oh, you see this? This is very well done. Look at the depth of this. And this makes total sense. I mean, just because we killed one doesn't mean we know everything about the creature. We have to learn it. We have to study it. So I can see that's going to change as we meet more of these as we continue on. Zorops are reptilian humanoids about the size of Orlans. They adorn themselves with the bones of fallen enemies, mostly Zorops from rival tribes. They also have an affinity for large feathers, which they hang and pin to their attire. Zorup's skin tones can vary from light green to a rustic brown. Their elongated snouts, which make speech impossible, and overly aggressive behavior have hindered them from communicating with the more civilized races of the world. They live in secluded, tribal territories and are known for ruthlessly attacking anyone foolish enough to cross their path. Zorup's revere dragons as deities and build their communities around the lairs of these powerful creatures. It is not uncommon for a small tribe to wander nomadically until it has found a drake or dragon to worship. Once a tribe dedicates itself to a dragon, they will defend it at all costs. Elaborate rituals in which the dragon consumes Zorup sacrifices are a normal practice. As a dragon grows in age and size, these sacrifices become large religious events that cost the lives of hundreds of Zorups. The power and prestige of a Zorup tribe directly correlates with the age of its dragon. The most powerful tribes have existed for hundreds if not thousands of years. Warriors and shamans of these large tribes typically paint their bodies to resemble their draconic gods. 
That is interesting. Okay. So this tells me that our, if there's a Zorup around, does that mean there's a Drake or a Dragon? If there's a Dragon, we are, we're not even close to being able to deal with a man, uh, uh, manage a Dragon. There's no way. So let's put that back like that. So we've already identified us. Oh, there's the Scalder. There it is. Same thing. I love it. We don't know everything about it. Not yet. Skulders are large mammalian creatures that dwell in caves in total or near dark total darkness. As a result, they have poor vision and rely on their sense of hearing to navigate and find prey. The protrusions and hairs on their ears allow them to detect airflow, which is key to telling direction in an underground environment. They communicate through screeches and clicks and use these vocalizations in a form of echolocation. They are communal creatures and will nest and raise young together. Okay, so this tells us a lot, actually, when you think about it. It's like we could be, if we continue going here, okay, there could be a lot more going on in here. There could even be a dragon, for all we know. Maybe a drake, and there could be more of these Skulder whelps. So we have done a lot here in episode number five, and we have also upgraded our biography, I would think. So we'll come back to that on episode number six. This is, this is fantastic. I'm really enjoying this game. Now I see what this is all about. This is a fantastic game. Very, very well done. And uh, we're rested. Maybe we'll have to go back for another rest. Uh, I think we're okay. We're okay. We can continue on. I think we'll continue in this direction. We still have a lot to go through on this side over here. Anyway, I think this is a great point to end episode number five. Thank you very much for watching. And we will be back soon.